everybody. Um, I, I want to take you from France to Australia. And this is where I live in Australia, in Brisbane. Um, Brisbane is near the Gold Coast, so we have beaches and sunshine like you do here. And this is a map of Brisbane, and you can see where I live and where I work. This is my university here, and it's close to a gardens and the river. And so to get to work from where I live, I catch the ferry. You can see the ferry there. And so um, this is where I work in this building here. And if you go into the building, you find my group here. So we work on statistics. And statistics involves mathematics and computer science and data science. So how many people here are doing mathematics at school? Mathematics at school? I love school. <laughs> Everybody? <laughs> okay. All right. How how many people are doing statistics? Statistics? Yeah, everybody? <laughs> Good. Now, statistics can be, a mathema um, be very mathematical, theoretical, computers and algorithms, and also applications in many areas. And I work in many applications in health, environment, um, people, and some business. So you see here some places in Marseille. Okay, so one, one area of uh, application is in sport. And if we think about in sport, like what, what sort of sport do you play? Basketball. Basketball? And you? Running. Running? And you? Fencing. Fencing? Right. So, what kind of data would we have on sport? If we take our basketballer, what's your name? Anthony. Anthony? Anthony plays basketball. What data would we have to work out if Anthony is a good basketballer? An excellent basketballer. <laughs> what data? What would we have? Who has a Fitbit? Like a wearable? Is it Fitbit in mm -hmm. French? Yeah. Anybody, does anybody have a Fitbit? Who has a wearable in their shirt? Like the basketball, like basketballers and footballers. How do I say that in French, do I say that? Can you say that in English? Again? In English, a, like a, a wearable, like a, a device in the shirt when they, when they run. Est-ce que vous avez une, une montre qui fait des, des Fitbit qui, qui connecte et qui prend des, des mesures au cours du temps de ce que vous faites en sport? Vous voyez ce que je veux dire? Hein? Ou une puce. Or a smart watch. A watch ah. that shows the... No? no? Okay. In, who has seen, like for a basketball game, when you video the game? Yes, a video of a basketball game? So we use all of these data. We use watches. We use devices when you run that show where you are on the field, we show on the court for basketball. We use videos to be able to identify who are the good players. So some of the areas of the uh, work that we do is in health as well. So I work with hospitals to take images of brains, 
and cancer, and I work with people, with doctors who do um, work with uh, sick people. So if you know um, Parkinson's disease. What, what is this in Parkinson? Okay, so in Parkinson's disease, you can do an operation that puts a probe into the brain and the person stops shaking. But who will this work for? Which people? That is the job of a statistician, so we do work on that. We work on cancer, so here is in Australia, what are the rates of cancer? Where are the areas that have large cancer, big red areas, bad cancer areas? And what we have been able to show is a big difference between cancer in the city and in the country. And this is very important because it means that we can um, change the health system in Australia to make it more fair for country and city people to improve health. And this is important, it's a job of statistics. I work with the barrier reef. So this is the, the coral reef, there's coral here in Australia, is what's coral, coral reef? Cool. Barrier. Barrier. Oh, okay, that's easy. Okay, very good. So it's um, but it's a big area. There's 2,600 kilometres of reef. So our healthy reef, a good reef, looks like this and this. But a bad reef looks like this and this. So how do we keep our reef like this and not like this? Well, we can take observations. We can use underwater robots. We can use satellite images. And we can take, we can, we can use people who are taking photos under the water. So who here is a diver? Like dives and coral reef, yeah? Do you take photos? Uh, yes. yes. So we have, built, we have built a virtual reef, an online reef that you can put your photos on and then people can go into those photos with their <laughs> VR, virtual reality. Who has seen virtual reality? Has anybody looked at VR? Yeah? Okay, so you can go into VR. You can look at the photos that, what's your name? Sivan. Sivan? Sivan's taken. And you can find his photos on the web, on our reef, and then look at them through these glasses. And you can help us to say whether it is coral or sand and we use that information, your information, in our statistical models to help us to better map the reef. So if we don't use your data, this is what we get for our predictions. And if we use the data that people can give us through their photos, this is what we get. So much better use of data from people and their cameras. Another area where we're looking to use different kinds of data is in Peru, in the Amazon. So we want to make a jaguar corridor, a safe place for jaguars to go across the country. We went to two places in Peru and we talked to the Shipibo people. So these are people in the Amazon. This is a, a the first place was a miria around a lake. And this is us fishing in for piranha in the in um, Peru. And the second place was in Pacaya Samiria along a river here. This is how much data we have. No data. 
but we have a lot of local people who know about the area and we also have a lot of experts. But the problem is that experts are all around the world. So our experts are not in the Amazon. So how can we get information from the experts about the Amazon? We can't take the, all the experts to the Amazon, but we could take the Amazon to the experts. And we do that by using virtual reality. So we went into the jungle and we asked the experts to tell us about the jaguars, where they saw them. We put stars on a map of where they saw them and we also took 360 cameras and made virtual reality. So we took photos in the jungle and then we made virtual reality and then we showed our experts in different countries and we asked them how likely is a jaguar to live in this scene? And if they tell us their information, then we can add it to our models and be able to predict good places for jaguars to live. So we can use all sorts of data and um, in our statistical models. We can use watches, we can use videos, we can use photos, we can use 360 cameras. So here is a picture of one of our guides, not guiding us, he was busy looking at the 360 um, VR. This is our virtual reality, we have it online if you're interested. And we can use our maths and stats to tell us about where jaguars might live, what would be the tipping points for jaguars, so where would they become extinct, and key factors and impacts. So we can build models like this to say what are the important factors for jaguars in the Amazon. Did we see a jaguar? Well, we saw fish and we saw giant guinea pigs called capybaras. We saw footprints and we saw jaguars on a beer bottle. <laughs> but we didn't see any jaguars. The only jaguar we saw was in a zoo. So, but there's always next time. So there's some of the projects that we work on in statistics. Statistics can be used in every area and it's well worthwhile using mathematics, your mathematical skills and your statistical skills and developing those because there are many jobs in statistics in all of these areas. Thank you.